Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Doom. My name is William and I will be taking you through the next episode of Doom, which is the Shores of Hell. Um, again, I'm going to be using the Z-Doom port. We're going to try something a little different today so that uh, you don't see the Z-Doom window. Um, so let's see how this works. We're going to choose the second episode, Shores of Hell. We're going to use the same difficulty levels for ultraviolence. And this level, uh, which is E2M1, is called the Demos Anomaly. Remember the last uh, episode was called the Phobos Anomaly and now we've got the Deimos anomaly, which is kind of odd because Deimos is actually a very small moon of Mars and uh, there's not very much gravity on it. There's less gravity than there would be on Phobos. Phobos is also a very small moon, but Deimos is like an asteroid-sized moon. Um, so I'm not sure where they would fit all this room here or everything like that, but whatever, we won't go there. Um, so let's go take a look around a little bit. And let's go ahead and start getting some of these guys. And this level looks simple enough, all right. Let's take a look at this. Ah! That takes about 10% of your health when you walk through it. So keep that in mind. Uh, but we need this, so... I'm not going to get that just yet. I'm going to let these en enemies on the side here um, kind of fight themselves out a little bit. And I'm not going to get the health just yet, because I'm going to have to go through here. Um, but you saw that when we went through here, um, it actually took away 10% of our health, so we got to watch out for that. It's not always obvious that something is going to take away your health when you walk through it. Um, it may be obvious if it's like lava or some type of uh, green ooze or whatever it is, or toxic waste, but sometimes like that, that cut out some health in a, uh, for us, 10%, uh, which is a good rate. Uh, I think it goes like 5%, 10%, I think there's one that's 20 or 25%. Um, so let's go ahead and get these guys up here. I do not want to grab this health. Okay, that's good enough. All right. Uh, we're going to have to go through here. All right, so we've got enemies coming through here, coming through this portal on the far side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this weapon, this shotgun, because I could use it. I've only got... that's all I've got for this. So I've really got to watch my ammunition here. Okay, let's get some more ammunition here. Uh, this level, actually, if you want to get all the secrets and everything and kill all the enemies, it really does push your health down a little bit. I may even push down to using the um, uh, Fists of Glory, if you know what I mean. Um, I may have to punch them. Um, but I'm not going to do that just yet because I don't have a Berserker on, and I don't know if I discussed what a Berserker does, but the Berserker pretty much gives you 100% health, and then it makes the Fist Punch about as equal as a Shotgun Blast, but it's only close range, um, so you really can't do much with that. So, let's go this way, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run and get this health, get this, get the Shotgun, and we're going to get some Shotgun Shells, and remember over here, that we were up there, this is where we were up earlier, where it was up in the right hand side here, where we got the blue key card. But here, what we're going to have to do, that was a good shot, and I didn't waste much um, in the way of um, that either. Let's go ahead and get some health and some armor. Why didn't I? Interesting. Alright, let's get some health and some armor there, which is pretty useful. Um, before we go that way, this is going to launch a a, a, um, a switch here, but you notice that there's two sides of it. This side is pretty well hidden. So hit both of these switches, and uh, there's a red key card there that might come in handy. And that gave us a secret. But before we go up there and hit that um, teleporter up there, there's another teleporter up there. but. Oops, wrong one. Let's go save it as uh, Let's Play 1. Uh, okay. Before we go up there, um, alright, that was good. I ran through that without hurting myself. Before we go up there, let's go up here because remember there's a teleporter on this other side and if I can, if you're lucky you can get through there without getting damaged. Sometimes you are, sometimes you're not. Um, there's a teleporter over here. So what I want to do is I want to taunt these guys And 
And the new enemy that we just found here, this big red thing, is called a cacodemon. This big cuddly looking thing with one eye. And he makes a funny sound when he uh, dies. Cacodemon is a new enemy. I believe he's about 54 units by 54 units. I'd have to double check the specs. He's less than 64 units. Um, a new thing, a new monster in this game. Uh, the thing about the Cacodemon is that he spits out blue fireballs that can take out a good bit of, good bit of your uh, health. Um, like 25 to 40 percent of your health. But they're easy to avoid. But the important thing to remember about a Cacodemon is they're... They're about, um, I would say, about twice as strong as an imp, um, not as strong as a hell knight, um, but they can float. They fly around. They are not limited to two dimensions, so watch out for them. So let's go back. Actually, let's save. I'm going to be saving a lot more frequently in these episodes because uh, these levels, simply because the enemies will be getting a little tougher, and um, I don't want to... Um, screw myself over. Okay, the new weapon we just got is now the plasma gun. This shoots um, cells, as you can see there at the bottom of our screen there, and cells are pretty much um, they're, they're pretty much they're pretty much like bullets, but a few times more powerful. So you can rapid fire these things, and they're it's a very good wet rapid fire weapon, and a long range weapon at that. Um, the only thing is cells seem to be pretty rare. Um, not as, not as, uh, Rare as rockets, but uh, rare enough that you're not going to come across them all the time. So I would watch out for that. And if I can remember, there might be a secret back here. I was wrong. Um, let's get some health and let's go into the next area. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can run through that without getting damaged. But you really want to watch out for it. I mean, I'm not 100% sure that's the case, but I'm pretty sure. Because I've done it enough to know that that's what happens. Um, so let's keep going. All right, we got the red key card now. Now we want to hop over here so we don't have to deal with that. Um, let's go into here. All right, notice these demons up here. They can't touch you, so you might as well kill them now. You know why they can't do anything to, uh, to you. So They're sitting ducks right now. Just get rid of them. Because you do not want to hit any switches and lower this thing and have them come after you. Because uh, you don't have the chainsaw yet. So that takes care of that. Now, we have two switches here. So let me go ahead and save. Which switch does what? Two switches. And this opens a hidden teleporter. Let's go ahead and take care of this imp here. And there might be some more demons over here. So I want to go ahead and take care of them. Because I do not want them following me into the teleporter. See, this guy, this demon, was going to follow after the former human sergeant. But then he didn't. Um, demons can do that sometimes. So you definitely want to watch out. Now that we've got both of these, this teleporter does not open all the time. Interesting. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and reload the game because I need that teleporter open. So give me just a second here. Um, I'm going to open this teleporter first. Actually, let's. Um, I'm going to go this way here. Let me save it. I need this teleporter. Because it's going to give us a secret area, and it's also going to give us some extra health and armor. And I definitely want that. And uh, this is going to take us back to where we were, which is good. So it's pretty much a one-way teleporter. It just takes us to a room that we could use. Uh, so that's good to know. But it is technically a secret, so you definitely want to get that if you're going for all the secrets. I um, hope everybody's doing pretty well. I did some, act in, uh, some research on Let's Plays in Doom. And there were a lot of good Doom Let's Plays out there, but one thing I noticed was um, that most of the Let's Plays that I saw out there were not using uh, at least Z-Doom, as far as I could tell, or using the port of Z-Doom where you can use the mouse and keyboard. As such, every, all the movements were pretty much blocky. Uh, they didn't have run on all the time. Like, like right now, I have run on because um, it's easier that way, and I'm a good enough player. I'm not an expert, but I'm a good enough player to uh, coordinate myself with running. Um... But a lot of Let's Plays I saw were not using them. I, it was obvious that they weren't using the mouse look. And, you know, I used to play this game without the mouse look because in 1993 that's all you had. Um, but, oh, and look at here. This is kind of interesting. Look at this cockademon over here. He just now noticed me. So let's go ahead and get rid of him. And these uh, plasma bolts, or whatever you want to call them, these fireballs, easy enough to dodge. 
I would call them fireballs, but I think they're a little different because the imps throw the fireballs and this is a different sprite. So that's pretty much that. So I know there's another section I missed in this game. So let's go ahead and save. My dog says hello. She's a little jealous right now. Um, sometimes she gets jealous. That's okay. Okay, so we got another teleporter here. And let me make sure there's nothing else up here, nothing else down here. This is going to ambush me. Ah, that was funny. I ran out of bullets. Do I want that thing to follow me? Yes. This is going to be really stupid. I'm going to watch. This is going to be really dumb if I can do this. That was really dumb. Um, I was kind of curious if that would work, but I'm going to show off the plasma rifle um, for this battle. See how quickly this takes care of him. And he's done. So that was a pretty good weapon, I'd say. I'm out of shotgun shells. And there's another ant down here, but I'm just going to take care of him with the pistol. And before we exit, make sure there's nothing else in here. We are at 50-54, and we are at... Um, most of the secrets, but remember we didn't go through the red key card, right? Let's get some help there. We don't need that. We're down to one bullet. I like Barney Five here and his one bullet. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm going to switch to the plasma rifle. Use it very sparingly um, because I do not want to um, overuse it. There's a couple of medikits here, so I didn't go over, but the official name for those things are medikits. Ah, there's a specter. I did not see that there. Okay, the official name was for for those things is medikit. Medikit restores 10, 25% of your health. See, I'm at 66 now. It's at 91% health. Uh, I'm not gonna get the last one actually. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save the last one because we're at 54, 54. Secrets 4 of 4, and there's nothing interesting that I want to show up out of this level. Um, yeah, I think we're done with this level, so let's move right along. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good now. Make sure. We're at 54 54. We've got that switch. 4, 4, 54, 54. Okay, good. All right, and that takes care of this level. Uh, let's see how we do it. 100%, 100%, 100%. Uh, normally in the first levels, you're probably going to have 100% of everything. Um, I think the health does not count, but the ammunition does count. So you could probably technically get 100% of items, but it's a pain in the butt for me to do that, so I'm not going to deal with it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. On the next level, we will be going to the containment area. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.